welcome to my channel welcome to another unboxing of a diamond art club now last week we unboxed one of the smallest ones being a 30 by 40 this week it's one of the big ones this is marine to life now it is a square if i can get it in my camera so we've got the blue line blue square square diamond painting it's how they describe it and this is the heavier end so the drill down here i will give you all of the details as soon as I can get in to this thing. Oh. It's gonna fall. Took it. Oh look, everything's behaving. It's all coming out nicely. Sometimes this big sticker gets stuck in the end, so you've got to fish it out. Alright. We have a square toolkit. Now it actually feels heavier than normal. Um I probably just imagining it. Uh, no, it does. It, it feels heavier than normal. Um, I don't quite know why. Really sturdy uh, tweezers. I'm not going to take them out. Um, if you want to see the toolkit, look for the first two videos from Diamond Art Club at the beginning of uh, 2021 on my channel. And you can see the toolkit broken down for either square or round. Depending on which um, of the first two you look at. Anyway. There is a pen, there are some bags, there is a tray with the short lines, there's a squishy grip, there is a four placer, mini uh, skinny head, and two waxes. Okay. Personally, I don't like those short lines on the um, trays, just because there's nowhere for the drills to go, really. All right. So I use, I use a much bigger tray anyway. So I don't use those, but the tweezers are awesome. You actually spend a lot of money if you want to buy those tweezers. All right, now you also get this little thumbnail. That works really well in fitting on the bottom of the box, as in the end. That end there, it will actually fit if you want to store these so that you can see what's on the box. And then you've got the sticker. Now there are, holy cow. 61 colors on this. It's Dominic Davison. It's 92 by 70 and we have one two Two ABs Only the two ABs. I always look for strays because I have found them in odd places and My computer just did a thing. Hang on There we go All right, let's get the drills out. Two bags. Not so heavy. Um, blue pamphlet, nine step instructions and there is a code in there. If you want to use it, it is only a 10% code. Right. Now you don't have to do this, but I, well, I don't either, but if I'm going to show you, I need to flatten it a bit. I'll let that relax and get into the drills. So it's marked the bags that it's one of two and two of two. a lot of drills. All right. Uh, okay. Um, well, the canvas is behaving itself, so why don't we just look at the drills first? All right, let's zoom you in and we'll see what goodies we've got. So we've got a 3860. There's only one separate there, but there may be more. Okay, some big bags. 3782, which is a beige. Um, I didn't say that this was... Oh, I did say it was square. I said it was a square box. Okay. 358 and 3... Sorry, 355. Two of those. I was gonna, yes, my eyes. Uh, 2762. There are two of those, which is a kind of off-white. 317, which is a dark grey. And 413, which is another dark grey. 
3776, which is a kind of orangey brown. Now, 3371, there are five. One, two, three, four, five. Which is the black brown. And 3865, you've got one of those, another alt white. 3033, which is a beige. And 3857, so there's some big bags. And then my sticker decides to go for a walk. Um, Alright, some tokens. And I think I just saw a glimpse of ABs in here. 519, which is a pale blue. 3052, which is a pale green. A little bit of debris in there. There's a little sliver just there. 797, which is a kind of purple blue. Oop, ABs, ABs right next to each other. Okay, so you've got a green AB. And we've got a dark blue AB. Now, the green AB is giving a silver green shimmer. And the blue AB, 136, which is gorgeous, is giving a gorgeous blue silver shimmer. So, look at that bling. We'll figure out where they go in just a second. 905 is green. 720 is orange. 907 is a limeier green. Yellower green, even. 904 dark green 3346 another dark green 3051 which is dark green 823 which is navy 895 dark green 666 uh, red 3341 which is pink 890 which is a dark green 741 which is orange only a token couple of those 321 again a token couple and 600 and 602 which are a couple of pinks I uh, wonder where they would be. All right. Now, the other big bag. And then I'll see if I can get my mitts around them all. Uh, 301, which is very similar in color to that, but it's not the same. Okay. All right. So 415, there's two of those. 310, we've got two. 3830, which we've got one. 318, oops. Bit of a twist. Two of those, grey. 938, three dark browns. Um, 402, which is an orange. What is wrong with my camera? Behave. I did have it down in a different position the other day. 414, which is a dark grey. 433, which is brown. 814, which is a burgundy red. And it looks like that colour brown. 433, but it's in round. Interesting. 739, which is a pale orange pink. Uh, 779, two of those. Dark brown and 738, which is another pale peach. I'm assuming this is the last lot then. So we've got 738, which is another. Peach, so that's just the string, just continuing. 742 is just an orange, 3856 pale peach, 3799, two of those dark greys, 3861, which is a kind of pinky beige, 3783, which is a orange, 743, which is a yellow, orange, yellow, kind of orange, 436, one of those, 435, next colour, which is into the orange browns, 434, which is brown. 780, other brown. I'm leaning on it. 3348, which is green. 799, blue. 798, richer blue. 445, which is that lovely pale yellow. Why aren't you focusing? 3770, which is a pale 
pink. 3053, which is green, and it's got its neighbour next to it, 772. All right. Uh, they're slightly bigger bags, so I'm going to go in twos. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. All right. There's the colour. Oh, this colour is much more... Mm, I was going to say, there's much more red in it than I thought there would be, but then that wood under the globe and the starfish would be some of those reds and then the browns would be into the cliffs. Oh, and of course the red feet of the seagulls. Now, give me a second. Take a look at the canvas and see where stuff goes. That one. All right. Now, this is huge. This is going to be the limit of my desk, to be honest. Now, the symbol we're looking for for the ABs is actually just one and two, which is fairly easy. Uh, if only we could find them. So, we can need the two. Oh, doesn't have. We can be quite brutal with this. Three is a brown, so it's not the feet. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, six 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 is the red in the legs. Um. Okay, so one is our green here at the bottom of the lighthouse. It's mixed in with seven, which is 907, which is that kind of limey yellow green, I think. Um, so there's lots of ones through here. And two is the navy blue. Okay, and two is where I thought it would be in the sea down here. Lovely and rich. Not much though. Um, no. So your colour pop is going to be <laughs> the centre of the picture. So just this side, so the right hand side from the lighthouse across, you've got highlights here and highlights here. It's up to you if you want to put any highlights into the waves. You could throw in a mix of 141s. So there's not much white in here to be honest. Uh, the dot uh is three eight six five so you've got a few but there are more scattered around you could substitute one for one for a couple of those if you wanted to put a bit more bling into the water um you could even put some highlights into the belly of the um, seagulls and um, give them that little bit of a shimmer so if i was doing it here i might highlight the edge do you, you know how Manti Manzana has what I call the silver lining. So you've got that curve. You've also got these curves here under the belly of the seagull flying and the wing. They may or may not look okay. Try it, take them off if you don't like them. And just under here, I think I'd highlight that ridge there um, if I was doing it, just to kind of pull out some of that 3D and the bling. Don't know if I'd do it in the smoke. You could, but I don't know that I'd want to highlight smoke. I'd maybe want to highlight the beam from the lighthouse as well, um, if I was doing that. That's just some thoughts from me. If you like substituting, you don't have to substitute. I know there was a post. This thing's huge. Like <laughs> it's massive. Um, it's a full art piece. This, if you were to put this on your wall, like it's a mantelpiece thing. It's the size of a TV. Wow. 
Um, there was a question in the group about why people would want to even dress up something that Diamond Art Club, for instance, have designed to be the way it is. And I guess the, the issue there is, well, why not? It's your kind of creation. They really don't mind you doing it. Um, yeah. Uh, if you want to add bits to it, do. And if you don't, don't. Um, if you don't think that you could, um, because you, I don't know, you, you're scared of making a change or you don't think you've got enough imagination for it. Um, really clever technique I saw with Mrs. Coffee was that she scattered the ABs in with the full colour. So if you've got maybe the 3865, you might have a tray that's mixed 3865 and the white ABs, the 141 from another kit, if you wanted to use that. And you've just got the occasional bling rather than specific laid out kind of bling. It's up to you. So 92 by 70. If I haven't already said that, it, as I say, it is huge. Um, it is a proper... I mean, it's a picture in a picture. It, it's huge. It's gorgeous. Now, it is on pre-order. You can order it, but it won't be shipping until the end of May. So if you were to purchase it, um, yeah, there, there's a bit of a wait. There's quite a few on pre-order from the website. They're getting stock in. And goodness knows what the Suez Canal did, if it did anything at all, um, to shipments coming through, if it's delayed anything by a week or however long ever what is it? Ever given? I think it's a ship. Yeah, we'll wait and see what the knock-on effect is on that. Um, links in the description for this painting. If you are a brand new customer to Diamond Art Club and you sign up with my link, I will get a commission if you make a purchase of this. If you are not, please use my discount code PIPPA15. Um, you get the benefit, I don't get the benefit. I only get the benefit for... Um, new customers so feel free to use those codes um if you're interested in seeing more diamond art club please go and check out my playlist at the end if you would like to see stuff that i have bought that is not diamond art club please check out the non-dac list at the end as well um yeah dominic davison there's an awful lot going on in that painting um very hard for me to show it on that small area I might take you out onto the deck and film there and point bits out because there are like the three seagulls which I pointed out with you know for highlighting but there's crabs there's the crab doing the the up pincers there's water spilling out of the frame there's shells there's sea starfish um, and we'll see what we can pick out from that painting um, as we look at it on camera so I will put that in at the kind of this kind of bit and um, yeah. Hello, I am outside with the small blonde. And yeah, this thing is big. It's probably bigger than she is. Oh, she was gonna stay and point things out for me. Um, so bottom corner here, we've got a pearl and a shell. You could highlight that if you wanted to highlight that. You've got the books, old style books. Hey, please don't walk on my canvas. You have the globe, which is not got anything very specific on it but it looks like ye oldie globe i love those globes we have a ship in a bottle we have some more seashells we have a starfish now here we have the snappy snappy crab which is a little bit reminds me of one in the movies and i can't think which one it might be oh it's the one where they're it's either doctor who where you've got the nasties down the bottom of the tunnels or it's um, Pirates of the Caribbean where the rocks turn into crabs and they make the ship move. Anyway, I digress. We've got a starfish here. We have, what is that? that? That's a conical snail. Not a conical snail, sorry. They're more pointy. It's a round snail shell, I think, there. We've got the light. Now, if you had some yellow ABs or something that was um, glowable, you could put it into the light, maybe where the highlights are. All right, so we've got another crab coming out of the picture frame and then we've got all that water spilling down. We have the ABs, the blue ABs are here and not in this patch, but they are in that bit. Okay, you could put a couple. Oh, sorry, there are a couple in there. 
Um, but the blues and the blue in the house also is AB. And then the green is this bright green under the house, number one. It's below the limey green, yellowy green seven. So let me zoom you. So you've got some here and then there's a couple of the sevens on the outside. The sevens are up here and here and then there's ones below it and a couple of sevens and scattered through. So the seven being that 907 limey yellow green as I said. Um, you have the red feet of the seagull. Now if I remembered my goals their particular goals have particular names but I don't know it could be a herring or it could be anyway you know what I mean. Um, seagull here I would put maybe a silver lining on his belly. I would maybe highlight the underneath of the wing there. Maybe not the chest, maybe just the underwing. And here I would do just in the shoulder. It looks like it's already kind of highlighting and popping if you wanted to. Now, I think there was some controversy over the frame. Um, some of the frame, I think it looks brown in the rendering, but it's coming out red in um, one of the renditions. Now, this is showing U, which is 3830, 8, which is 3776, F, which is, I'm trying to see the schematic, 355, um, I can't think off the top of my head if they're more red or blue, brown. Y is 3857, which looks quite brown. So, I don't know that it's that red. F, 355. It still looks a bit brown. I have had this in my collection for a little while, so I'm not sure if this is one of the old mistakes or new fixes, um, to be honest. So I'll just have to wait and see until I get to it. It is huge. It's Dominic Davison. It's got lots of details. We have the sail ship there. We have the sun going down. Lights on and the lighthouse with the beam. Kind of akin to the clouds as well. So it's a little bit misleading. Which is which. Um, waves crashing on the beach. Waves spilling into the lounge. You've got the sail ship then here as well. So you've got the echo. Um, and you've got the anchor on the wall. Now... That could be, well, I think it's just the anchor, but I actually, excuse me, had a um, a weather vane, weather clock at the door of my hall when I was a kid. And then you've got the uh, front of the mantle dresser kind of thing that it's all sitting on. So it's a little bit busy, but yeah. And it's huge. Um, there are my feet. Like, I don't have big feet. I will see you at the end and um, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you around on the tubes. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.